Thomas with Jumpers Adventures. And today, it's, of course, Monday, so it's Topic Time with Thomas. So why don't you sit back, get your snacks, get your popcorn, get your root beer, get whatever you want, get your pack of smokes, get you a case of beer, and just sit back and enjoy and jump into Topic Time with Thomas. And so today's Topic Time is going to be about how I shop as a little person. Now, you might be sitting there wondering, Thomas, we want a video of you shopping. Let's actually see a video of you shopping instead of you talk about it. Well, fun fact. If you want to see a video of me shopping, comment down below and let me know. And I will get with Stan from Life with Stan. And if you haven't already, why don't you pause the video and go subscribe to his channel. It's called Life with Stan. He does, skits on, he does story times on Mondays and skits on Wednesdays. So why don't you go jump in? Because his, his latest skits are freaking amazing and funny. It's a doll that's haunted. So you should go check that out. It's really great. But anyway, if you want to see it, just let me know. Just like, hey, Thomas, we'd love to see you shopping. And maybe me and Stan can go to Target or somewhere and go walk around. I can show you how I shop and I can get things. Because for me, shopping is different. It's complex. It's sometimes easy, sometimes not. Because you might be thinking, Thomas, you're short. Shopping can be easy. No, not really. I mean, it can't be easy. I mean, you have to think. I'm short. So, well, there's something on the top shelf. What do you do, Thomas? For, funny you ask that. It's because basically what I do is if I need to get something off the top shelf, I literally will ask somebody for help. If there's nobody on the aisle, or I'll run and jump and try to knock it over. Or I've been known to get like ketchup bottle, like ketchup things, and sit there and just throw it. I just throw stuff at it. I can sit there and throw it at it and knock it down. Or I just like try to hit the shelf with my hand and jump and get it. Or all else fails, I've been caught climbing a shelf or two in a grocery store. And they don't like that at all. So like that's one reason. Like grocery shopping, I can climb shelves and all. Like I can climb the shelves. Other than that, it's pretty simple. I mean, the checkout can be like the checkout can be difficult because sometimes like the card readers don't adjust down and I have to stand on my tippy toes through the card reader because yeah, card readers are not little people friendly. PSA, you didn't know that, did you? No, you didn't. But now you do. Card readers are not that friendly. So like they're not little people friendly in anything. So there's that. I mean only my biggest issue with grocery shopping would be on the top shelf and just trying to get somebody to help me. Or if I can't reach it, I'd jump for it. But as for shoe shopping, let's just say shoe shopping can be a bit different. Because, I mean, you can't see my feet. Of course you can't because I'm in a video. But many of you probably don't know this. I actually don't wear adult size shoes. I wear kids shoes. I'm in a four and a half, I wear a four and a half kids shoe. So, you might think, oh, that's cool. That's cool, Thomas. I mean, granted, it's cool. My shoes are cheaper, right? But, do you know how hard it is to actually find kid shoes that aren't, like, too kiddy? Like, without dinosaurs on them? Like, I've been shoe shopping. I was like, find a cool pair of shoes. Had dinosaurs on them. I'm 26 years old. I don't need dinosaur shoes. Now, light-up shoes? That's a whole different ball game for a whole different day. Because I will tell you right now, guys... I will mess up some light-up shoes and wear the joke out of them. I just got to find them. I will totally rock some light-up shoes. And you may think, Thomas, what about clothes shopping? Because shoes and clothes go hand-in-hand. Hand. I mean, for me, I wear a medium-sized shirt. I wear a medium-sized shirt. I wear kid socks. But for the pants, however, I have to buy normal a normal pair of pants. Like a normal, like an adult, like average-sized person pants, right? Then I cut them off. I wish I had a pair of pants around here to show you what I'm talking about. I don't have one. I don't have a pair on. I have a pair on, but that'd be kind of weird. But anyway, so what I do is I put the pair, I put the pants on. Like, I put them on, and I will see where they meet, like, at my ankles, and I'll cut them off. So basically, nine times out of ten, I am cutting half of my pants length off. Yes, that's right, people. I'm cutting half of my pants off. You're probably thinking, why? Why don't you roll them up? But when you roll them up, they just get so heavy and baggy, and it's just annoying. So I cut them off. I just cut them off. Yeah, guys, I just cut them off. But um, what else do I shop for besides clothes, shoes, food? I just, um, sports stuff like no, yeah, I want to know about that. 
I don't know what I was shot for. I really don't know. But anyway, guys. What else was I shot for? Oh, pet supplies. Oh, I have reptiles. I have a lizard and I have a gecko. But anyway. So, um. How I go, like, to, like, a pet store and get dog food or something. Because where I go get dog food at, dog food's on the top shelf. So, it's like grocery shopping. I have to run and jump up and get it. Yeah. I have to run and jump up and get it. That's right. I have to get it. Oh, God, my hair's curling. Oh, pause. Look at the curl. Look at the curl. Like, look at that. Yes, that's right. My hair's curling. Unpause. But anyway... So, like, I have to jump, like, dog food can be hard to get. Like, yes, I mean, yes, um, yes, I'm short-statured, but, like, I'm beefy. So, like, you're probably thinking, Thomas, how do you pick up dog food? How? Well, funny you ask that. I carry it on my back, like a real man. I mean, where I work at, we have TVs, like, big TVs. I carry them like a man. I carry those TVs like a man. I can pick up a 65-inch TV, pick up a 55-inch TV, and throw it on my shoulder. 65s, I scoot. 75s, I've done. I've almost... Funny fact, to the, the other day at work, many of you don't know this, I almost got taken out by a treadmill. I mean, just because I'm short doesn't mean I'm, like, weak. Yes, I can carry dog food. But anyway, guys, I hope you liked this video. This video was great. I... It was just like, it's a bit of video that's been on my mind, like how little people shop. I know you're probably expecting like a video of me like talking, like talking about, like not wanting to talk about it. But anyway, it's just, it's a video. I wanted to talk about it. But if you like to, um, sorry, lizard stick it. But um, anyway, if you would like to um, actually see me shop for some clothes, and I have to go, I need to go shoe shopping. So if you actually like to see how I go shoe shopping, why don't you comment down below, leave us a thumbs up, and like, okay, let me know. And I will see if I can get with Stan and see if he wants to film, help me film that video. But anyway, guys, I hope you all have a great day. And tomorrow, please stay safe. Please stay safe tomorrow. You know what day it is tomorrow. You know what day it is. It's going to be a crazy day in America. It's going to be a crazy day in America. But anyways, um... This is Thomas with Little People Jumpers Adventures. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I got a new phone. I got a new phone. So there should be no more cutting off videos of me having to go back and fix it. It should be a straight shot because I got the iPhone 12 256 gigabyte phone. But any, but, oh, while well, I'm thinking about the iPhone and all that, if you want to know my honest opinion of the iPhone, comment down below and let me know. Because I will do a video on it. I will, I will actually chat with you in the comments about the iPhone. So far, I love it. The camera is freaking wonderful. The camera is great. I mean, the screen is great anyway. But anyway, guys, this is Thomas with Jumpers Adventures. And of course, my video is all over the place because, you know, little people and ADHD and candy don't mix. Because, you know what? Halloween candy is 50% off because yesterday was Halloween. But anyway, I hope you all had a great Halloween. I hope your kids got a lot of candy if you have kids. But anyway, hey, this is Thomas with Jumpers Adventures. And yeah, I hope you all have a great day.